All right, there we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. Happy New Year, everybody. It is the 2nd of January, 2019. It is currently 1227 p.m. Eastern Time. I got home a little bit earlier. I guess that's a good news, bad news scenario when it comes to New Comic Book Day. But I want to say hello to the people that are already here. Tracy, Comic Addiction, Jay, John, Gorilla Grodd, Daniel, Joe, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video. Quiet Storm, welcome. John, Chris, Jose, S. Cargo, Tony, welcome everybody. Hopefully you are enjoying your day. And uh, we got some good news and bad news. Bad news is not a lot of comics this week. The good news is you're not going to spend a lot of money. So if you like saving money and keeping money in your pocket, then uh, this week's going to be good for you. There's not a lot to show, so I'm going to make this video quick so it's not very painful. So the first one, obviously, is my Walking Dead. I get two of each one. I'm sure you guys don't care too much about that because that's my regular run. This one everybody's going to be showing today. This is Batgirl 30. Obviously, they're going to get it because of the beautiful artwork on the cover. Um, the fact that it is $3.99, DC is still... You know, doing a good job with that. And yes, last but not least already, uh, this was the only number one that was $3.99 for Marvel. So notice I picked that one up. All the others were $4.99. This is Champions number one. A uh, little tribute to Stan Lee. They have that theme with all the comic books this week. But normally, there's number one of the, um, at least a couple of independents. There was nothing this week. Um, they had the Fantastic Four and a couple other Marvel things, but they were $4.99 up to $7.99. To me, it's the principle of the thing. I will not overspend on these newer issues. And you guys know if you follow my channel, it's not about the money because I'll spend more on eBay for a book than I will buying it directly from the comic shops. And it's it's sad because I only come go there once a month now because I only have The Walking Dead as a regular thing because I'm basically... Like, many people are kind of getting turned off by a lot of the newer books, and they're sticking more towards the older books, so I don't get to go there very often, so I was actually, I got up early, I was very excited to go to the comic book store, see what was out there, and it was just a lot of nothing, unfortunately. Now, obviously, if you have your comic book runs, that's fine, if you don't mind spending four ninety nine for a book, and for the Fantastic Four, issue six fifty, dollars uh, it's a seven ninety nine book, if you feel comfortable with buying and spending that money, hey... You know, uh, who am I to tell you what to do with your money? Um, this is just a small week, so only three books to show. Going to be easy on your wallet this week. I almost didn't want to make a video because I just didn't want to do something this short. But hey, you never know. Somebody may not have known that this was three ninety nine for this Marvels. Uh, they might not have known about this this beautiful artwork. So, you know, if I help one person get an extra book, that's great. Um, but if anything, you're not going to have to rush to your comic book stores today because I seriously doubt any of those books are going to sell at any time soon. So um, that's basically it. Let me just do today's surprise subscriber shout out. I'm sorry it wasn't more than it was supposed to. Well, I thought it was going to be, but you know, it's just that's what it is. So we're going to do today's shout out. Surprise subscriber shout out will be going to uh, Tony Trombetta. Um, if you want to give it a thumbs up on this one, that's great. If you don't, complete, trust me, I completely understand. There's not much to go on this week. Uh, we'll see next time. I, I do like supporting my local comic book store. Hopefully, they'll come up with some good new issues or some kind of event or, you know, keep the prices low because DC is still able to maintain $3.99 price tag. And as you can see right here, image, still $3.99 price tag. There should be no excuse why Marvel is trying to charge so much money. I mean, considering how much Disney is making with all their movies and everything, they're, they're not, you know, strapping for cash. So I really think if people kind of support a kind of a movement to make a stand, even if it goes against something that you really love, you know, like I said, if you buy it on eBay, you spend a dollar more, it's the principle of the thing. But if... Um, if DC and Image can still keep the $3.99, and even Chris Barrett says Image is $2.99 on some books. So there you go. If they can do it, Marvel definitely can do it. So bad job on Marvel's behalf because there were probably about three or four books. If they would have been, instead of $4.99, $3.99, I would have picked up today. So um, again, 
just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you have to, and it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you buy them or anything like that. Each person collects differently. That's one of the things that we have to accept in the community. There are going to be people here for different reasons. We should all embrace that instead of mocking it or criticizing it. So I'm making my stand. Whether that you agree with that or not, I leave that up to you. I'm not here to tell you how to think. I'm just showing you the comics. So I spent more time rambling than showing books today. So uh, the fact that 60 people are here, that means a lot to me. So thank you so much. I don't want to make this too le um, too long. Webhem, welcome. Los, Chris, Ramondo, Pages Films and Plastics. Always good to see you guys. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes with me. Um, have fun shopping today and look for deals if you can get them. Search the dollar bins. You never know what might, what might be out there. And um, if anything, like I said, saving some money, that means it's money for uh, Silver Age, Golden Age, and Bronze Age key books. That's where I'm looking at. I got a good Bronze Age book that I won on New Year's Eve. So I uh, can't wait to get that book and show you some shows. You got to know when to buy books. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy Wednesday. I'll see you next video. Peace.